We want the same. Norway and Switzerland moan UK got a better EU deal than in Norway and Switzerland have complained the Brexit trade deal terms the UK agreed with the European Union are much better than what they have with Brussels and are now demanding similar treatment. Britain has reached an agreement with the EU to seal the terms around future trade ahead of the country's full departure from the bloc at the end of the transition period at 11pm on Thursday. The deal agreed between the two sides prevents exports and imports from being subject to customs duties from 2021 onwards. In one instance, Boris Johnson and his negotiating team managed to convince Brussels to give up the European Court of Justice, ECJ, as a court of arbitration. A joint board made up of representatives from both sides will now manage disputes. The agreed deal also does not provide for the automatic adoption of EU law. Marit Arnstad, parliamentary leader of Norway's Centre Party, argued the UK got a better deal with the EU than what her country currently has as a member of the European Economic Area, EEA. She told Norwegian newspaper Klaskampen, the UK has now reached an agreement that gives them more freedom and more independence. The British have a better agreement than the EEA. They get access to the internal market and the common trade that is desirable, but they do not have to be part of a dynamic regulatory development that places strong ties on the individual country's national policies. The most difficult thing for Norway is that we are bound in areas that are national policy, and that it happens in more and more areas. The British have now taken back this authority, and it is extremely interesting. Hemming Alausen, leader of the Norwegian Socialist Party's EEA committee, agreed, the British escaped the European Court of Justice. Then they are no longer subject to EU supremacy and must not accept any EU legislation in the future as we must. This agreement is qualitatively different and safeguards national sovereignty in a better way than the EEA does for us. Switzerland has been locked in talks with the EU over an institutional framework agreement for several years. Unlike the UK from 2021, the country is a de facto member of the EU's internal market, meaning there is no legal basis for avoiding the ECJ's jurisdiction. In a recent interview with Swiss-German public broadcasting station SRF, National Deputy Hans-Peter Portman from the Radical Liberal Party demanded the Swiss government include the Brexit deal in upcoming talks with the EU next month, and warned not to drop below the level that Britain has now. Centre Democratic Union National MP Roger Koppel also tweeted, Boris Johnson did well. He negotiated hard, no submissiveness, agreement reached, without foreign lawmakers and foreign judges. Autonomy Suisse, a Swiss committee of entrepreneurs, said in a press release on Christmas Day, new room for manoeuvre is created for the Swiss EU negotiations. As a result of the successful conclusion the UK EU trade deal talks, the statement concluded, overall, during the Brexit negotiations the issues of political sovereignty were largely settled in the way desired by Autonomy Suisse for the Swiss EU framework agreement. The Brexit agreement shows that there is potential for negotiation with Brussels. But European law professor Christa Tobler claimed the Brexit deal agreed between the UK and EU cannot be compared to the Swiss EU framework agreement, telling Der Blick newspaper, apples and oranges are being compared again. She explained the UK's relations with the EU are not as close as those Switzerland has with Brussels, which to some extent is part of the enlarged EU single market and applies the bloc's law. The expert argued that as a consequence, Brussels will reject Swiss requests to renounce the ECJ as a body that can resolve any future disputes between the two sides.